Damn, Victor! Back at it again with the Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play! Wow! <laughs> wow! Welcome back to Digibros, everybody. Welcome back to Digibros! We, uh, we've, we've had a, a good, solid five or six days Fresh to ourselves yeah. to, uh, to, to plan more, you know? We've been, we've been cutting it close with these Digibros lately. Uh. Technically, I think today all of them would have been out if I hadn't missed a day. Yeah, entirely. if I hadn't like forgotten like two straight days. And then also <laughs> released episodes 21 and 22 backwards. Huh. Because I uploaded them backwards on accident. Like I uploaded episode 22 first and then mm -hmm. got confused and forgot that. So when I like made the thumbnails and everything, fresh I, I marked them wrong. But the thing is that <laughs> episode 21 is like 100% I just talked about food the whole time. Oh my god. And then episode 22 was a totally different topic, so it doesn't change anything <laughs> that they're out of order. Wasn't like, it I also just like digging around in the casino the whole time anyways? No, that's later. Okay. But yeah, it was just like, each one was so individual that it didn't even really matter that they were yeah. backwards. It was pretty funny. Fuck man, I beat the gym, what do I, I guess uh, I'm out of this town, man. Yeah. Uh, you gotta go to the... Fuck this You got town. the sylph scope, right? Did you gotta I? go back and do the oh, whole yeah, fucking... Oh yeah, I did. I gotta get this guy out of that way. You don't gotta worry about him yet. No. You have to get the Pokemon flute to get rid of him, and I think you get that from doing the whole thing okay. you're about to do. I also went and did some research on the Pokemon I have in my party to determine uh, if any of them were useless. <laughs> I see. <laughs> because someone was talking about, like, I should evolve my Weeping Bell, and I was like, but I thought I could get the moves faster if I didn't evolve him. And then, like, I was looking up stuff with that. Now it's kind of right, kind of wrong, but then, like, I, I was just looking up the move, the moves for everyone. First of all, this War Turtle is gonna be useless for a long time, so fuck him. Sand Slash is gonna get very obsolete. Nine Tails is good. These guys are good. And then I'm gonna take out. Although I thought Nine Tails was like by far our worst Pokemon. Yeah, but Nine Tails learns Flamethrower the lowest level. I see. So I can get that, and it'll be badass as fuck. <laughs> Hand me one of those beers down there. There's assorted beers down I'm here. I'm looking to get drunk. What are these beers? Uh, it's just one. They're not assorted. They're all the same. Yeah, but there are multiple. Oh man, I didn't tell you. All right, so A line of beers. Yeah, this happened in between episodes because our last recording was before April first. So. Uh, we've talked a lot about Wawa on here. We yes. often get up and go to Wawa in the middle of a recording. In <laughs> fact, damn, Conrad, back at it again <laughs> with the Wawa talk. <laughs> Always talking about food. So, right before we started this video, we went to Wawa just yes. now. You picked up some root beers that I've never root seen beers. before. Stewart's root beer. Yeah, sure. I got me a, a parfait, a, a, uh, what the fuck is this? Cookie dough parfait. It's all right. But, um, so the Wawa that's right near our house that we always go to was closed down for, like, three weeks for renovation. Yeah. And, uh, they started at, like, what was it, like, March 13th or so, up through April 1st. And I was so excited to get in there, like, the day that... I was, like, trying to get there at midnight, trying to see if they would be open. Like, I kept coming back early in the morning, and, like, uh. they wouldn't be open yet. And I'm like, God, God damn it. Uh, but they, they finally reopened. And the store is beautiful now. Yes. They they definitely made it like really cool looking. Not Wonderful. much is not much is actually different about the place. Like uh. like they didn't change their products really. They just arranged them a little differently. Um, you know, there's like a couple of new items on the menus, and then like new items. They don't stamp things anymore. That's the biggest difference. Stamp things? It used to be when you ordered food, then you took that oh, thing yeah. up to the counter and they stamped it. Oh, they, they don't, don't do stamp that? anymore. They, wow! As she just Whoa. described to the lady in front of us in line, new technology. Holy shit. But the biggest addition is they added in a beer fridge. A whole yeah, beer fridge. Yeah, pretty cool. Now the funny thing is that they don't have any different beers. They just have more of them. Yeah. But there's one new beer that they carry. Whoa. And it just so happens to be my favorite beer, Golden Monkey. There's a Golden Monkey on it. He's got a creepy so eye. So when I went God, in fucking damn it, and I stares. realized that the Wawa right next to my house now carries my favorite beer, I was like, life is good. Conrad, why didn't you warn me about the stairs? 
<laughs> I did. I warned you about the stairs, bro. I told you, man. So, uh, oh. Golden Monkey is a pretty solid beer. It's one of those that's pretty easy to drink, fairly light taste. I mean, it's still, it's very beer. If you don't like beer, you're not gonna like it. But it's like a lighter beer, easier to drink, but. 9.5% alcohol content. Whoa! So it is a heavy hitter. That's for pretty the, edgy uh, beer, man. For the amount of not being difficult to drink that it is. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, shit. What's happening in Eevee? I'm gonna get drunk and make raps for all of Shade's beats. That's my goal for tonight. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Our brother Shade has completely, it, it, like, become a music producer. Yeah, I mean, that's like, what he, he's changed his ambition. Yeah, well, so yeah, we've talked on the show, we've had him on the show before yeah. to talk about how he wanted to be a game designer. Yeah. And he talked about all these ideas he had, but the thing is, Shade was never actually designing games. Like, he would yes. work little bits on stuff to do with designing games. Well, I'm but, gonna like, move my screen a little bit. Okay. It's because it's making me look slightly away from you, and then that makes me less engaged with what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna like over here. Interesting. Let me move okay. the mic a little bit to reflect your change in where the screen is. Um, do you leave? Yeah, whatever. It can just block part of it. I don't fucking look at the game anyway half the time. So I have anyway, to look at the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was, I'm just worried about the microphone placement yes. because it blocks my view. Um, Fuck, I'm tired. So, shit. Fucking stairs, man. <laughs> I, so many times. <laughs> um. So anyway, yeah, Shade was talking about how he wanted to be a music or uh, a game designer. Totally changed. Now he wants to be a music producer because yeah. he actually does it. Like he enjoys a lot. making beats. Yeah, like, and he's become pretty obsessed with it. Yeah, and he's good. <laughs> like he has. I don't know what it is. But he can make a catchy melody like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. Like everything he makes, no matter what the production's like, like some of it's, you know, not that well produced, but like always the melody will get stuck in my head immediately. Uh huh. And like, uh, you know, he was sure, like he, somebody followed him on SoundCloud and he was like looking at that guy's stuff and he was playing it for me and he was like, this guy's pretty good. And I'm like, this guy makes good sounds. But there's nothing catchy about it. Yeah. It's just like, you know, like a beat or something. But like, Shade's music, just innately, like immediately it'll be stuck in my head. All of it. Like, yeah. almost everything he's written has some kind of great melody to it. So I'm like, man, he could write some really catchy tunes. Boy, he has a gift. And a lot of them are good for, like, he also tends to make them have pretty thick sound that I like. So mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to rap on all of these. You got to make a bunch of beats. And we'll make a rap album. Yeah. So I did rap on one of them. Uh, he made a song called Waves, and I called, uh, I made uh, my version Waves at Dawn, which is on my SoundCloud. Um, it needs to be mixed better, i.e. I just need to turn the vocals down a little bit because they're a little too loud. But I record, I, <laughs> I made it by, I was like drunk all night and I wanted to write a song. So I just played that song on repeat, wrote all the, the wrote all the lyrics drunk, recorded it drunk, and it was cool, because ordinarily when I rap, it's very like technical and structured, and like, yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of just, uh, I don't High know how to tech, put it. Man. There's not a lot of like emotions in yeah. it, so per se, or, or it's not, it's it's too clean. It's very, very clean. clean. But, um, <laughs> But this one I was able to be, because oh, I was God, drunk, Victorian's I was freaky. able to do it more like uh, unhinged or This whatever. is a Pokemon that is not as cool looking from behind. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's it just, just like, kind of looks like it's wearing a... It's creepy looking. It looks like it's wearing a poofy collar. Yeah, because it does have a poofy collar. Right. But it's like, bizarre. Uh, I like it. He's a Dracula. Okay. Now that it's a Dracula... I get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it took. <laughs> Dracula. I don't have any guys who are good to fight ghosts, but I'm going to catch one. Look at those tails, man. It looks like a, a bread. A bread. I mean, we're talking so about yeah, Shade. I'm excited for Shade's music career. He's completely changed his majors. Like, he was going yeah. to... I mean, all he had done so far was uh, basic I was bullshit say, classes. I feel like it, it makes sense for Shade because, like... He started getting into hip-hop a lot, you know, right. a few years ago, and I feel like he 
he's more engaged with that in like a deeper way than he is with video games. Where yeah. it seems like he has profound thoughts about hip hop, you know, and like he gets really into it. So it, it doesn't surprise me that this would be like yeah. a path. I mean, I I think he him. I think he has deep thoughts about games too, but I think he likes games conceptually, and I can't see him making them, yeah. which is pretty much what happens to everyone who tries to be a game designer. <laughs> exactly, is that you realize that designing games means coding and yes. doing boring stuff, and you know, like he really was into the idea of like being like a graphic designer for games, like making character models and stuff like yeah. that. He likes that kind of stuff. But well, like, then he also never really drew or anything. He never right. did concept art. It's like you have to at first be a good artist before you yeah. can do that, you know? Yeah, I, I, I was always telling him, like, because to me, this is my advice to everybody always, if you want to be a creative person, is, like, if you're not doing it, then it's not gonna yeah. happen like pick something you like doing because that's the most important part like the process you know, is more important than the finished right. product if to be a good writer you have to write you have to like writing not like the idea yeah. of having written you have to like the act of it more right. than the product which is why i don't write fiction because i hate writing fiction it yeah. sucks i love coming up with fiction and having ideas but the actual process of trying to create sentences to reflect ideas like that drives me insane whereas yeah. writing uh analytical stuff is like the biggest cum in the universe <laughs> so uh, uh splish yes thank kaboom <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> splish splish <laughs> but yeah um so shade just kind of started making songs all the time and yeah. he clearly loves doing it and he loves toying around with the stuff and i i told him as soon as i realized that i was like shade you should do this like you clearly want to do this yeah um and he was at first like he made a whole ep in the span of like a couple weeks just using he's using fl studio or fruity loops yeah which is like you know the the more easy to learn basic beat making machine thing but yes. you can do all kinds of shit with it you know and uh he was using a version that's like the free version because it's like an 800 dollars program like all of them are but there's mm -hmm. a free version but the free version doesn't let you save your work so you have to make your whole song and export it but you can't save yeah so he was like making these songs and then just exporting them and then that was it there's no going back there's no yes. fixing it you know so then uh once he started making stuff that was like pretty good and not being able to fix it i was like shade this is now a problem i'm going to get you regular fruit because he doesn't know how to pirate shit or yeah. whatever or he's like just <laughs> too much of a pussy about it so i was like shade i'm gonna do it for you so Little i did bitch. it for him. Uh, oh. I, I, I have so many times where i talk to people who are like in creative fields and they're like i don't want to pirate and i'm like D you have to do oh. it now it'll yeah. make it you, you don't understand you have to that your you life have to will get improve it now in leaps and bounds uh, you know get the program when you can afford to get the program well because everyone's always like well, you I'll have just, to start somewhere i'll just use the cheap one or i'll use the free one and it's like it's not good though you will be holding yourself back not being able to do as much work because your program sucks you know mm -hmm. Like, if, if I was still editing shit in GIMP, I would never want to edit anything, like, for, vid yes. for image editing. Like, using GIMP fucking sucks. So, I just want, you know, I, I got Photoshop. I actually pay for Photoshop, but, uh, like, um, yeah. I like this name. Fart. <laughs> Let me, real quick, <laughs> close out of Skype so it'll stop ah! doing this uh, annoying fucking yellow. Fart. Oh, did you name him Fart? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you didn't notice. No, I was like, I no, but his name is Fart. Fart. I like this name, Fart. I can't remember any of the lyrics to the song. Goodbye, yeah, right. Moon Man. Goodbye, Moon Man. Day Man! Oh. Stop. It's not the same. <laughs> Fighter of the night, man. Uh -huh. I'm bringing Anyways. those old memes back, dog. All day, every day, it's bitch. Not that old. It's but, old um, for Digibros. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess so, yeah. We did it on a... Uh, Old Hat Digi Bros. Hell yeah. But anyway, yeah, um... I, I think, Art's you know, confused. Shade was obviously never going to be able to make a bigger, more ambitious song if he could yeah. never save his work. <laughs> so having the full version was like instantaneously made his work better, uh -huh. you know, in a way that it would never have gotten. Um, I would not be editing video without Vegas right now. Like, yeah. What the hell would I have used? What would... You know? If I didn't get that, you know, when I was fucking 14, <laughs> my entire, like, right. career would have never started, you know? I would have never got into it, which... Like, when I first got into it, I wanted to be an editor. That's what I enjoyed the most right. for doing Project Awesome. It's, I always forget that because I hate it now, but that's what I wanted to do when I when I went to yeah. first started in college. DeVu is always telling me how he's, like, always been really anti-piracy and stuff, and he's currently paying the $30 a month it costs to have a Adobe Premiere, and then yeah. he ran into, like, some... He ran into some issue, and he was asking the support people, like how to fix it and then like someone gave him a solution that wasn't really a solution but it yeah it, like it's like a temporary one and then one of the mods like marked the thread as answered and he's like huh. i didn't want this answer i wanted wow. this thread to continue so then he was like all right i'm gonna pirate this shit but then huh. he realized that pirating stuff takes you have to learn how to do it yeah and then he was like uh, I don't. Uh, uh, I'll just pay and get the support thing. To, uh, I was like, dude, just fucking pirate the thing. It takes five minutes. Like, uh, they don't. They don't deserve your money, for one thing, and for another thing, you're not the audience that they made the program for. Like, uh, they they make these programs for like studios, which is why they charge yeah. such outrageous fucking exactly. prices. It's like all the all the equipment I use. It's like it's not affordable to normal no. people because it's meant to be. A, a studio checking it out, or a right. studio buying it. Like, a, a college will buy all these programs, or yeah. a, <laughs> you know, a place that you, uh, uh, an office place will buy They're made these. for professionals. But no one... But it's also made to gate out non-professionals, you right. know? Right, and there's no freelancer who can afford this shit. There yes. is none. <laughs> there is no graphic artist you've ever seen on the internet who is fucking paying for Photoshop. I mean, maybe yeah. they are now yeah, because depends. you can do it monthly with uh, with Adobe. Oh, yeah. Because Adobe wised up to this. They were like, hey, everyone wants Photoshop. Let's make it so you can just pay a monthly fee that's pretty yeah. easy to pay, you know. But, like, you know, Vegas, $900? Who the fuck is ah, going to, you know, have that to spend yeah. on a thing that they might not ever make $900 doing, <laughs> you know? Um It'll be well, a glorious day when I can afford my. It's things. like, you know that uh, that Bill Hicks joke where he's saying like, uh, if you don't think drugs have done good things for us, then take all those records, all those albums that have enhanced your lives over the year and burn them, because uh -huh. all those artists, real fucking high on drugs. And I just want to apply that exact joke to piracy. Yeah. If you don't think piracy has done great things for you throughout your life, take all the stuff you've ever liked on the internet and burn it. Because <laughs> all that shit was only made possible through piracy. Yeah. I mean, for fuck's sake, I wouldn't even be able to edit my videos if not for piracy. I have to mm. download all these fucking shows. <laughs> you could afford to throw some them sort in. of program at this point. Oh, yeah, I mean, downloading the shows for sure. Right. What the hell would I do otherwise, you know? Yeah, there's no way you could get them. I mean, if I didn't illegally download them, I would have to just illegally record the Crunchyroll stream. Yeah. And then I'd be stuck with the subtitles on every fucking video. Or illegally burn the Blu-rays. Right, and get them from fucking Japan at a $70 yeah. a Blu-ray <laughs> cost, and then not be able to edit a video till the show has been over for a long time and the Blu-rays are actually out. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's all dependent on that, you know? Great art has to break some rules. Uh, Are we still on the first episode? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's We're like, so towards angry. the end. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I just zoned out. <laughs> I had to switch fart out, and I didn't. I'm like, it's hot, you I know? like this name. I'm already tired. This is a normal temperature for, for me. Yeah, because you've been suffering in this for days. It's cold as shit in my room. Well, on the next episode of Digi Bros, Victor's gonna tell us about this epic trip he just took. Oh no, responsibility. All the way up to New York.
So next oh, time. All right. Uh, wait till this match is over. I guess this is, this is the last uh, one, right? Yeah. It's not very effective. But it worked. Died. Look at his grip. That's right. Your Pokemon is indeed named Look at his grip. So you did. You decided not to evolve it. Sweet sense. Yeah, because he's dude. still gonna learn moves faster. Uh, hmm. What does it do? Reduces it, evasiveness. Like, doesn't evolving though also like raise your on. base stats? And it that's does. Also an advantage. Who gives a shit? He's already over leveled. <laughs> man, fuck sweet sin. This is does nothing, man. I guess if you like stat maxing. Yeah, All dog. Right, next time on Digi Bros, nobody <laughs> you learns. You can't make anything. me learn.